What's going on boys? No guys here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over most meta cards in Striker. The best meta cards that you can get for team of the season that are going to be game changers. I just want to say very quickly as well, do stream on twitch.tv forward slash no guides. Link is down below in the description. Now, when I go through these players, I'm talking about game changers only. So I'm not talking about some half assed cards or let's say some cards that may bring some doubt. I'm talking about top tier high caliber cards when team of the season comes around especially Premier League team of the season you need to be try hard mode because that's when everyone's going to be trying and it's going to be a difficult game so I'm going to speed through these as fast as I can first guy is Ronaldo now Ronaldo of course we all know the top tier player I use him as a second striker he's not my main striker and there's a reason why I'll explain to you in a second but a top top tier card and has a has a five star um so five star skill moves, four star weak foot. The benefit is that because Ronaldo has really good composure and has pretty decent shot power when you put a hunter on him, it, end, it's, it kind of his weak foot kind of ends up being like a strong weak foot. So you can think, think of it more like a five star weak foot as opposed to a four star. Um, but he's deadly on either foot, can shoot, can header, can do everything you want in the game. Now the reason why I said he comes second is because Neymar is still a better striker. Now this is important to note. Um, Neymar even at this stage is so good. Why is he so good? It's because Neymar has the agility and balance. He has that unique dribbling animation with agility balance, which is something that Ronaldo does not have. If you have team of the year Ronaldo, okay, fine. But we're talking about players under 1 million coins. And for the fact that Neymar is 300k now, it's an absolute still. In fact, if you ever got Neymar on your team and you got 300k, 300k spare, you should basically be selling players in your team to fund Neymar. That is how important he is. Under a million coins, there's no one really better than him in the entire game. And I genuinely mean that. If you really want to go and excel going forward, get someone who's got a five-star, five-star, dead in either foot, can dribble, got the pace, he's got the shooting, the high composure and everything. Mbappe can maybe get the job done. But once you're facing these players that are going for elite during a team in the season, they're going to start pushing Mbappe on his weaker foot. And that's when you need that five-star, five-star. So yes, Mbappe can get maybe get the job done, but it won't be anywhere near as tough as Neymar can do in striker. There's so many other players. We're going to quickly speed through these. We're going for a new card. We're going for the Tal card. Now, the Tal card is actually a pretty good card. There is one that lets him down, and that is his composure. Um, I would say put a finish on him. Unfortunately, a sniper doesn't give him a finisher anymore. Um, as it doesn't up his composure. But he's still a top-tier finisher. Five star, five star, five foot nine. Very, very good in the ball. Very, very agile. If you can somehow get a Tal and Neymar into your team, you're absolutely laughing. Um, but that is definitely a card to go for. Another card I want to go for is Ivan Perisic. Um, another really good card. His balance is a bit meh, but he's five star, five star. So if you can get him alongside Cristiano Ronaldo in a strike type position, um, I think he's a really, really good card. You put a hunter on him, it becomes a, becomes a top tier card. Now, if you want to get like a dynamic trio, I would say go ahead and get Benedeschi. Um, because then what happens is you get a system where you have... 5 star, 5 star for um, Perisic and you have 5 star, 5 star for Benedeschi and then you have Ronaldo in striker. I think this trio pairing, if you're playing a 5-3-2 or a 3-5-2 or 5-2-1-2, Benedeschi in camp and Perisic, Ronaldo striker, for under the price, maybe just the price of a million coins, you can maybe afford all of them. I think it's definitely a dynamic trio that's very much worth getting. Um, we've gone through name already. Son, of course, a Premier League card, a very, very good Premier League card if you can afford him. And a top tier card, very, very clinical on either. He's got the best dribbling compared to maybe the likes of Neymar. Um, but he's got the finishing, very, very composure. Top, top tier finishing. Got the shot pound, of course, the five star weak foot. The five star weak foot is very important. You think it's not important now, but think about this carefully. When you're versing players, not lower tier players, let's say you're playing the weekend league, let's say you're a gold one player, you really want to push towards that elite rank, let's say for team of the season rewards. Now that elite guy wants to do the same thing, he's going to defend, he or she's going to defend out of their mind. The key thing for you to do is to be able to be clinical in front of goal. With a five star weak foot, you can turn either foot. Trust me, the way people defend, if you have a five star weak foot, they give you more space. It allows you to maneuver, allows you to go on either foot. If someone's got Mbappe or if someone's got any of those players, they're going to push them on their weaker foot. Sana is another good card as well. Um, again, another top tier card. I'll definitely go with a finisher with Sana just because you want to get that finishing shot power and get that agility balance up. But another top tier card if you're looking for a Bundesliga striker. I think definitely is a card for you to use if you are running a Bundesliga team or if you are got a German hybrid team. I know, I know a lot of you guys got Kimmich 
team of the year in your team another card icon level is pavel nedved um, i think another very good card you put a hunter on him um top tier sprint speed and finishing again maxing out that can also play in that cam role second striker can also play in a winger and um, a lot of these cards um, are slung off as left mids and right mids you can always move them to strikers in game um i think it's shocking that people for example don't use neymar on striker it's kind of a it's kind of the most obvious thing to do, but some people are like, I'll give you an example, um, just to give you a bit of reference. If Neymar was in my team, um, if you if you don't have Neymar, just to reiterate, if you don't have Neymar on your team, I would basically buy Neymar and sub him on. He's honestly that good, 250k. I think he's honestly an absolute steal. Um, but never is definitely a card to go if you go for that left mid position. Let's say you're playing a 3-4-2-1 or you have those positions free. Or let's say you're playing Nedved off chemistry. I think he's definitely a card 500k. I think he's an absolute steal. Another card we have is Ben Yedder. Of course, we all know Ben Yedder. Five star, five star weak foot again. Very, very clinical on either foot. Go towards a hunter as well just to get that sprint speed up and that agility and balance. He's a bit more pricey compared to the likes of Neymar. Um, but of course, he's got the composure, agility, balance, the sprint speed, and the finishing. Another top tier card. There is absolutely no doubt about that of him using him in the final third. Um, we then move forward over to Messi. Now, Messi has multiple cards. Um, if you can go for the Champions League card, now listen, um, there isn't that many good La Liga cards. That's the truth. So that's why I kind of chucked him in. Um, but I think with the Hunter, he's still a very clinical card. He doesn't have the five star weak foot, but he does have the finesse shot trait and outside the foot shot trait. If you're trying to go with a striker who's got a four-star weak foot, in my opinion, minimum, a four-star weak foot, um, outside the foot shot trait and the finesse shot traits are really, really important. Um, especially in those hard angles, um, the ability to use those players be shooting on the off angles is also very, very, very key. So I definitely recommend getting Messi if you are running a team of the season um, or you're going towards team of the season La Liga team. Um, Ryan Kent, another very, very good card, five-star, five-star. Um, the reactions are a bit meh. The only thing that does let him down is his composure to so do bear that in mind. Um, but I think he's a really, really good card. Um, Stop a finish around him, get his dribbling up, get his agility balance up, and you get his finish up. Now, the thing is, his reactions aren't that high. So what you can do is you can slap, slap a dead eye on him and forgo the reactions. That way you get his shot power up. Now, the shot power is a bit more important because he does like that composure. But I do think he's definitely a clinical card if you're going to be linking him together. I know that most players have got this card already as a super sub. But even as a card that you want to bring on as a sub or even as a winger, I think he's definitely a really, really good card. We go along to, again back to La Liga. We've got Ansu Fati um, just under the bridge of a million coins. But I think he's definitely a top, top tier card. I'll definitely go with towards the finisher again just to get his finishing up and to get his shot power maxed out. But he's got very, very good composure. Someone like him alongside someone like Messi are two very, very, very good cards. You might be thinking a lot of these cards, why am I not using new cards? Because five-star weak foot cards is what's most important. I'm trying to focus on finishing, composure, agility, balance, and sprint speed. Unless this players like Ronaldo kind of got those unique type of shots. Um, then it goes to Raheem Sterling, a Premier League player. Um, there's not that many good Premier League players, I'll be honest. Um, you do have the likes for Charleston, but his finishing isn't the best. And instead of having Richarlison, who's a bit clunky, why not just get someone like you know Sterling and play him in striker? If you want, um, you can put a finish on him, or you can go towards a dead eye, and that way you max out his finishing, and you do max out the shot powers, and you get that short passing up as well. So you can play that cam, left wing, right wing role. Um, he's got five star skill moves, so um, not five star weak foot, but he's got four star weak foot. Um, but again, he does like the traits, but because he's I suppose you can say he's finishing and his shot power pretty high. You can probably get away with it. And again, this is the Premier League players. There aren't that many. If you are going to do Premier League, otherwise, I would say go ahead and get Jamie Vardy. Does lack a little bit, I'll be honest, the agility and balance department. you got to slap a finish on him. That way you get that agility and balance much, much higher. Um, but of course, the high finishing, high shot power, good agility and balance. But the most important thing is composure here. But I think with a five-star weak foot, it kind of gets that anyway. Um, so you can shoot on either foot. And from those tough, hard-to-do angles... They're very easy to score. I've got, a, I've got a little video coming soon on how to basically shoot um, towards goals. A lot of people are, you know, not shooting near post, but we'll kind of go through that. We head towards some of the icons now. Um, I think Prime Dalglish. Um, you can, of course, do the Prime Dalglish SBC, just a tad bit over budget, but I think Prime Dalglish, another top, top tier card. You put a hunter on him. Like he's, he speaks for himself. Top tier finishing, top tier shot power, top tier sprint speed, and of course, agility, balance, and the composure. And I think we all know about Kenny Dalglish already. Five for eight, got the perfect height as well. Um, Bucciguenio, another good card. You can, if you want, get his prime moments if you can push towards the money. Um, because in that way, it's 400k a bit extra, but if you can push um, with a hunter, I think another exceptional card, you know, agility and balance almost maxed out. 
Shot power is almost maxed out. He's got that very, very high composure. Another card is our. Now, if you are going for, you know, the... I know Pyre was a really good card, but that SPC, unfortunately, is gone. Um, but our could actually get a pretty good job done as a second strike or even a cam. So if you're looking towards a player like that, you could definitely go towards that. And if you want to filter these, um, the best thing I advise you to do is, uh, my best key advice is if you're looking for all these players, my best advice is try to look for someone who's got minimum a five-star weak foot. I think it's imperative a five-star weak foot is needed. And if you want to see some other stats, I'd recommend is go towards and fine-tune a few other stats. I will say try to get minimum 80, minimum 80 agility and balance. Um, of course, some players like Ronaldo won't be excluded because they've got low the 80 balance, so do bear that in mind. And as they finishing, try to get to 85, and you can get the composure. If you can get the composure to 85 as well, and you're going to see we're going to get a good uh, a good balance all around. So you get that to composure to 85 as well. And you can see under a million coins, these are all the cards that you should buy. Again, there isn't that many. Truthfully speaking, there isn't that many good cards that are worth, that are really, really worth the money. Um, we do have some few odd players. You know, we've done Dalglish, done, we've done all the big players. Owen's actually a pretty good card, actually, to be fair. I completely forgot about that. I mentioned, this, mentioned him in my meta icon players. Um, but he's a very, very good card. He does get the five-star weak foot boost. And he's got 99 finishing. And I think if you put a finisher on him, he is ex an exceptional card. So I think definitely if you can afford him, I think he's a very, very good card as well. Um, five-star weak foot. does have the three-star skill, but it does let him down. And we've gone through most of these cards anyway. But players like um, Richarlison, yes, he's got the very high um, finishing. Um, you could argue with that. Um, but then you're kind of stuck with, okay, you put a finisher on him, but you know, if you want him to be proper end game, he's a bit clunky, you know, he's 5 foot 11, um, he hasn't got the best of sprint speed, maybe you ideally want someone like, you know, Vardy instead of him, that's how we kind of, you know, gave some of those players out, but we've gone through most of those players, again, we're talking about top tier players, creme de la creme, under a million coins, of course, everyone can, I would say yes, go ahead and buy Eusebio, but not everyone can afford Eusebio, but that is kind of my meta players, I would say for under a million coins, that's definitely worth it, towards the team of the season um thanks for watching guys take it easy and i'll catch you next time peace out